Right, the Nina drama and MMA guru beef explained. So in an attempt to further deepen herself into Dana White's haggard old cheeks, Nina Drama has full-on kicked off with the MMA guru. In a recent video, the MMA guru was reacting to the UFC 307 press conference. And in that video, he highlighted that the cameraman seemed to be making a point of highlighting a bulky female reporter's full body. He then briefly joked that he didn't realise that John Morgan had transitioned. Now, it does seem like Nina Drama may have overreacted here which makes me think she was really just waiting for a chance to attack him, as he's clearly on the outside of the mainstream MMA media, and she's firmly inside of it. So for her, you can see how this seems like an obvious play, and a fairly safe bet, but I think she might be wrong. I mean, this ain't Brendan Schwab, sweetheart. I don't think this one's going to go quite the way you think it is. It's a problem, B. Could get dicey. So here's what the MMA guru actually said. Uh, fat woman, oh my god, why did I do that? So basically, there was this woman, yeah. Oh, I don't even want to pile on, but I, this is being tweeted about. Some some guys, are t people are tweeting about this online, so I guess I should mention it because it's a part of the... I just did feel bad, you know. She was built like, you know, the game, get over it. And uh, so the cameraman zoomed in close up on her. And then, like, it snaps back to her and he's got a wide shot of her just to make sure everyone can see. Or, like, it, the cameraman was so out of pocket there. It was zoomed in on like an upper half. And like, we get it. You know, first of all, I thought, damn, John Morgan's transitioned. You know what I mean? But, but then it was like, and now we zoom out so you can see it in all it. Like the cameraman was like, I could hear him laughing behind the camera almost. Trying to hold back a laugh. Saying like, I think he said something like, nah, you guys got to see this shit. As she was in the middle of her question. Crazy, diabolical work from the cameraman. Pathetic, not cool. Um, I, I would never make fun of it. That's lame to me. A cameraman should be ashamed of himself. Okay, so it was a little bit rude, but not too bad. And certainly nowhere near the level that Guru's gone in on other characters, like John Bonepeels Jones, for his nefarious and sometimes fruity activities outside of the Octagon, or Israel, the dog whisperer Adesanya, for his race work or coping or the dog stuff, or Michael Chandler for his adoption taste. The list goes on, but the point is, when you look at how hard he's gone in on some of these fighters, Fighters that in real life would dismantle him so badly they would leave him in a jellyfish pile of pig meat. This, in comparison, was pretty timid. In the message, Nina calls the MMA guru vile and dusty, which was a weird one, and clout chasing vermin, which is a bit rich considering Nina makes no secret of the fact she uses her two best assets for views and attention online. This would have had a lot more gravity if Nina didn't make her living giggling like John Jones at a Diddy party, while fighters like Sean Strickland casually spout out profanities. All the time, her persona is really just taking a joyride on the misogyny train. For the MMA guru, this is great. More attention, more content fuel. I would imagine there's going to be an MMA guru video on this situation of epic proportion coming any minute now. It did seem like he was struggling for content ideas just before this anyway, so I'm sure he'll be over the moon pick. I would imagine he shot a load and had to sit down for about 45 minutes after the part where she said, everyone at the UFC knows who you are. There you go, dreams really do come true. Now, for us all to sit back, grab some popcorn, and watch this unfold over the next week or so. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a sub, check out this playlist of recent bangers. I'll see you next time.